I genuinely think that I have found the scenario where I am the most self-aware, self-conscious, just like, and I ha- I just hate it. But I yeah, think I bad. have found I found the epitome of what the scenario is. So for me, it's wa- it's when I'm at the ocean, but it could be any body of water. When you're walking out of a body of water or a pool or whatever, and your sh- your shorts just suction to you, mm. <laughs> just <laughs> now clearly, you just you're in a very public place, and your your shorts are clearly showing the exact shape and size <laughs> of your penis. Yeah, and so you try to shake it off. You try to like, ah, not a big deal. I hate it. Every single time I get out of the ocean, I'm like, ha, yeah, uh, try to shift and squeal. <laughs> well, it's, and sometimes it is hard to get them to unstick. Uh, and it's, it's made terrible. worse by the fact that you're coming out of cold water most of the time, and that doesn't help the situation. Well, in any yeah. water, right? You're comfortable. You're kind of just floating. So, of course, yeah, you're not you're not revealing the best side of you. Growers, not showers. I mean, that's what that's what it comes. I think down that's to. the DeGraff yeah. way, that's, anyway. Welcome to I'm Telling Mom, the podcast about three brothers catching up, playing games, and getting paid with a whole lots of money with real companies. They like sponsoring our episodes. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I like Wednesdays. Clay's is currently. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Clay's is currently at a drive through strip club for a quick thrill. Yes, I am. And Landon's just paid money to reserve a spot in heaven oh. just in case. Yeah. And I'm Mason. And welcome to the episode all about sponsors. I look at both of those scenarios very fondly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, if if you didn't catch all all of that was all about sponsors that we have done on this podcast. Which I feel like, all right, so I'll, I think it would be naive of us to think that all of our listeners have heard every episode. So quick recap, there is an, or was, an actual uh, drive through strip club, which... I still think is amazing. <laughs> Hilariously they, amazing. It did go out of business though. Right. So now it's it's in a way it's even more amazing because it's just creepy because if you walk into this dilapidated building there's just a oh. hole. There's a there's a <laughs> hole a square cut hole in the side of the building a drive that says through window. enter here or something or or look through here. Oh. You think they just turned it into a Wendy's or something? Oh wow! <laughs> Would you? Ooh, because yeah. I mean, it's got the building, it's got the window. You're already, you're halfway I'll there. Bet, wait, wait, Mason, let's flip it. I'll bet it was a Wendy's before it was oh, a strip club. Oh yeah, that's probably where the idea was. Like, hey, we have this drive-through window already here. Let's make use of it. You're right. That's a that's a really good point. And then the other sponsor, just to round it out, was. And I think this is still real. You can buy a ticket that reserves your place in heaven. So if you're unsure about uh, existential things. things. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> it's just crazy that whoever came up with that is probably an insanely wealthy person now. Because maybe not as many Americans would fall into that. But can you imagine if you're, if you're in, a, in a third world country, but you still have internet access, and it's your first time hearing about God and Jesus because the missionary came over, and now you're like going to Google to figure out how can I get to heaven, and now they figured out, if I pay $10, I get there. You know? I don't think so. I don't think that's what's happening. I think, think any income is going to be, yes, Dumbass white people <laughs> that are just sucked into like they told me on the TV that if I if I want to go to heaven I gotta pay them four hundred dollars on the internet. So you think it's like legitimate people actually thinking like if I purchase this I'll be able to? Oh yeah. Wh- why you know, else are you gonna just to give them money? Like you don't give them money for a joke. So I think that I am the type of person that would. Like, I would buy a ticket to heaven just because I think it's funny. And, like, I would do it for myself. It's just just guess, some gaffes. Okay, so it, in that case, it depends on, like, how they handle it. If they sent me a certificate 
or a ticket yeah, or something dude. that says like <laughs> I've earned my spot into heaven, hundred percent, I'm on board. But if it's I've, just like, okay, good job, now you're now you're good, then I'm not I'm not so apt to do it. You even know? if it was just a printed yeah. off little frame yeah. that you could put on your yeah. uh, on your wall. Wow. I think I've talked about this on the podcast. I've purchased a star. I was going to bring that up, actually. Real life. <laughs> this really happened. I paid like $150 for a star. I named it whatever I wanted. <laughs> and they sent me a certificate. And it had like the exact placement and then the whole like picture and Do everything. Do you not and think it, that they've sold that same star to 50 They probably other people? have. And that doesn't <laughs> no, bother I, you. I'm sh- I'm, no, not really. Because like I... What I, I don't hold I don't hang the plaque on my wall. I was in high school. I thought it was a cute thing to do uh-huh. for a girl. Like, you know, I kind of didn't care. And I still hold that I don't care. So it's the same thing applies. Like maybe I'll buy Alessia for Christmas this year a ticket to heaven just to make sure. <laughs> I would sooner buy one of those like foot by foot plots of lands in Ireland before oh, so I would be buy a, a star. star. Yeah. So you can own that lordship. You can, yeah. That's you a can thing. Be Lord Mason. Yep. Yeah. If you're ju- if you're just if you have land in Ireland, you're a sir or a lord. You're a lord because you you're the yes. duke of that land, even though it's like a foot by a foot. Yeah. Is that it a thing? Still counts. Yeah. That's a and real thing. Oh my I god. Think it's pretty affordable too. That's amazing. You can you can buy a foot by foot plot for. I mean. So it's thank you for sponsoring still... this episode, <laughs> Ireland. I think there's going to be a lot of those. I think there's going to be a couple of sponsors of this episode. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to jump into a game? Let's jump into the first yeah, let's segment. Do it. All right. Okay. All right, boys and girls and cats and uh, carrots. Um. Mm. I'm concerned if we have any carrots listening, Mason. I, you, you <laughs> know, if that. we do, if we do, good for you. There's We're proud whole, of you. Keep doing whole you. a world of VeggieTales that consume human content. Hey, in an yeah. alternate reality, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they grow humans oh, for sustenance. Um, all right, so this this episode is all about sponsors. And for me, I can't, I can't not do a segment about just horrible ad placement like you shouldn't have an ad here on this website or Uh, you know you know what i mean yeah yeah so i just i found a bunch it's not hard to find and we're gonna talk about it um i'm calling this game badly placed ads this first one is uh it's it's an article on a website just a news article that says Santa Cruz trash bins to carry baby dumping warning, which is already wow. a great title. But oh I feel like I need. <laughs> Holy fuck! That mean yeah. Uh, wow. Um, I Let me explain. You really, think, you really think if you're the mother that's throwing your baby into a dumpster <laughs> that you're gonna like stop to read a sticker and go, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this? Hmm. <laughs> okay, Holy so fuck. you get the concept. Yeah. Can so so I I'll read a little bit of the article. It says a box of stickers sits in no, I'm not going to read that part. It says the message on them is aimed at new mothers. It says don't throw your baby away. The stickers will be placed on Santa Cruz garbage dumpsters. Oh my god. I think that decision had already <laughs> been made. Here's the This is yeah, why I don't understand. Yeah, that far into it. First of all, like we'll get back to the ad. I just want to address like yeah, the fact that the this is an yet. issue. The fact Dude. that this is an issue right. is blowing my mind because <laughs> look, know. you have so many legal options. Abortion is still le- like let's not get into whether you agree with it or not. It's still legal. Therefore, like why are you going through the labor pains just to like be like, "Oh, the hard part's over. Okay, get rid of it." Okay, but here's the thing: is is are we are those stickers implying that the babies are already dead before they're put in the dumpster? Because it's at that point, if they're already dead, they're like, well, don't put them in the dumpster. You know what? I, <laughs> I you, don't you think see where so. I'm going with that. I think or that's like, like, are they finding are they finding these babies alive in the dumpster? And they're I like, think don't they're dump alive. your baby in here. Well, they probably find them uh, dead, but they were initially yeah, alive. Yeah, but if they're already dead at that, that point. Wait, well, I'm you saying they put them in there alive. Well, this, I'm trying to figure out what the sticker is trying to avoid. 
putting live babies in a dumpster so that they die in the dumpster. But but, ha- but my point is, statistically, I can imagine that most of the time they're already dead if they're being put in the dumpster. This I is don't so think so. Landon, they're rapid, not. But I don't think they are, Landon. I think, think they're a lot. Think, think of... Okay. I think it's like the dumping pregnant a puppy. high school girl that is at prom, and, which this is a real story. There's a, a pregnant high school girl at prom. She has her baby on prom night. She's like, I'm not having this baby, takes it and puts it in a dumpster. So it happens. This I is mean, sad, man. This is, yeah. Okay, but isn't this- <laughs> Let's uh, go. Aren't, aren't, if you really wanted to do that, can't you just uh, go to a fire department and drop them yeah, off Yeah, exactly. Yes. Is that a thing? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that is a thing. Baby at the yeah, fire, so that's fire uh, the station alternative. doorstop. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you guys want to hear what the ad is for yes, this on this website? Yes. Directly next to it is a picture of a, a one-year-old baby, like happily walking with, with you can see like hands holding their hands up, like a parent helping them walk uh-huh. with the text that says, time for a new home, question mark? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what sucks is like the SEO for that ad had to have been like yeah. put my ad next to anything, <laughs> anything that says baby. baby. Right. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um all right, this next one is a little less gruesome and is actually like a real life thing instead of a website, but this you know how like especially in Indiana our Hoosiers listening at home will understand. You're driving down the road. You see a giant barn with texts on it that usually says something about Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's this. It's a giant roof that says Jesus is Lord. The problem is, is they then sold the building. And so they put a for lease sign on it right over where it says Lord. So it literally just says Jesus is for lease. <laughs> <laughs> They had to have uh, known. They had to have known uh, that yeah. how that would have read because it was a funny. Yeah, yeah. they did I that don't on know. purpose. That's kind of smart in a way. <laughs> they did I mean, that anybody on purpose. Driving by That's is free press the right there. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of smart. All right, this one is this one's great. Uh, this is a uh, like a dictionary website, and it says it's defining. Um, I'm gonna struggle saying this, but anatidophobia. Which is okay. the fear that you're being watched by a duck. And then it goes into like a whole description, <laughs> which first of all, that's a great fear. Like if you got to be afraid of yeah, something. Be afraid of be that. Be afraid Very that you're true. being watched by a duck. And then <laughs> can you guess what company decided to put their ad right in the middle of the article? Dawn About Dish a- Soap. Dawn that's Dish a good, Soap? That's good. That's oh, good. Wow. Uh, but no, it's Aflac. Uh, wow. With a the duck dog. head like peering in from the side, <laughs> like <laughs> literally just watching you. It wow. seems that great. one I almost that's wonder good. if was done on purpose. Yeah, if that well, one's like this is thing. kind of a creative ad that Any, we could do. Yeah. Anybody could also have just photoshopped these. So, yeah, that's also that's why I'm point. citing Business Insider is like these might not be real, but. Yeah, this is where I got the information. Funny, um, regardless. You guys want to go back into uh, morbid? I mean, sure. Do we let's need to warn people it. this time? Trigger oh, warning. All right, there you go. Them. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so this is another an, another news article that says uh, one toddler dead, another critical after house fire, and I don't even have to read the article because that's what happened. And right above it is this the this ad for Omega that the whole image is just a clip art of fire and it says burn baby burn. Oh Whoa. no. Whoa. Whoa. Holy <laughs> fuck. And they're talking about like burning fat, I'm assuming. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh th- my god. I don't god. know if it's Omega 7 or Omega cuz their logo's stupid and hard to read, but yeah. <laughs> It's like a health Dude. thing. That's really bad. <laughs> that is really like, bad. Just family looking Poor at that choice of words. or something. Uh, wow. Let's so we'll we'll lighten it up again with this funny one. Uh, kind of, well, kind of funny. The article is man plunges to his death. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
And it, this one's actually in a newspaper, and it shows a picture of, like, this cliffside house. It kind of looks like a lighthouse would, but without the lighthouse part, I guess. Um, so I'm assuming so the cliff? guy, like, fell off a balcony. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's a house, but it reminds okay. me of a lighthouse okay. in the okay. way that it's, the like, lighthouse like, lighthouse. like a lighthouse <laughs> being there, but if the lighthouse weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> so a house. It's a house. Okay, um, good. so the, the, the title is man plunges to his death. I'm assuming mm. he fell off a balcony a and plunger. underneath it is this very creative, uh, a long short image and the text going all the way across it in kind of a flag pattern says, ah, <laughs> Jesus. Wait, dude. what's the ad for what though? The odds, uh, m- marital separation. <laughs> What? I, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> um, all right, I got one more, and it is this this story is nuts. It's the the article title is Eleven Year Old Charged with Driving Drunk. So mm-hmm. two no nos. <laughs> so just think about that for a second. Mm-hmm. Right, um right. and then the the ad is for red stripe beer. Oh, uh perfect. red stripe lager. It just says, hooray, beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh I like that God. one. That's so, a, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Well, that was that was just a little intro into our sponsors. Just I had to include it because there's so much out there. Uh, and I think before we jump into our, our uh, second game here, Maybe maybe we just we we do a sponsor maybe we for this episode about sponsor. sponsors. Let's a hear a real sponsor. sponsor that we have a sponsor. for this episode. Thank you for joining my Instagram live. I'm just going to give it a couple more moments um just for some more people to join. I have something very important that I want to say. I'm going to go Thank you, Joey. Hi, Kyle. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Most of you know me as Princess Galaxy 22. My real name is Kara, and this message is for the Taliban. Taliban, I've seen what you've done in Kabul. And it is not okay. (laughs) Those people didn't do anything. Anything to you, and it was not nice. This is my official statement to stop. End the violence, Taliban. Thank you. All right. Yeah. End it. End the violence. Galaxy Come on. Girl 2000. Wow. Wow. What a what a what an inspiration for all of us. So I glad think we can that take a anyone lot. can just put their fucking opinion on the I internet. I don't know where that was gonna go at all. As I mean, we put she... our fucking opinion on the internet. Yeah, that's true. Galaxy <laughs> Princess 22 Galaxy or or Princess Kara. 22. Uh, I think she brings up a really good point, though. You know, uh, the Taliban should probably stop. Knock it off. Sure. Uh, yeah. Knock it off. You, no, I mean, right. she made she made an official statement yeah. for it and everything. Yeah, Putin. So. Why don't you chill out too? While yeah. We're at knock it, it off. So, yeah. Stop I it. I mean, not everything she, needs to be said. Communist though. China. Cut it out. What are you doing, guy? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for our sponsor. Um, what's her name? Uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Princess, Princess Twenty Two. All right, how about how about segment two? Segment, segment two. two, let's do it. I'm excited, right. Mason. Okay, I actually <laughs> am excited for this game. Um, I'm calling this slogan versus slogan. And you guys, we are breaking new grounds Slow today Logan. on this podcast. We are doing something we have never done before. That's probably not true, but I can't remember. Okay. So um breaking ground. You two are actually gonna be working together against Real companies. Ah, oh. Okay. okay. So I am basically I am gonna tell you the name of a company and you are gonna try to come up with the worst slogan you can possibly think of together. Mm-hmm. Give me your answer. Mm-hmm. And then if it's worse, <laughs> I'll I'll even let you guys I think be the judge win of it. every time. 
I just I, I don't, think we're I don't win. know. <laughs> um, we can come up with some pretty terrible. It's not, yeah. it's not. It's not McDonald's. I'm loving it. It's for like ads and stuff. So it's not like their official. Slogan. I feel like you need rules Slogan. though. The, no, you'll see, I, Mason. You'll let, see how bad this you'll can get. See. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's just try one. But I'll let you guys okay. be the judge of whether you think yours is worse or not. Okay. As okay. long as you agree to be honest, we're gonna start off easy. Uh, this is Sunglass Shack. Sunglasses Shack. We we all know of Sunglasses Shack. What, sunglasses Hut. What is a slogan that they use on one of their advertisements? <laughs> okay. Um, Landon, I'm thinking, you know, so hot new slogan for sunglasses. Not even the brightness of Hiroshima atomic bombs could get through our sunglasses. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, I like that. Um, uh, cover your face. Uh, with our sunglasses and protect yourself from a bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> or something along those lines. Oh my god. I'm going to places. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the rules are um, not just the worst, but also like clever points. So it's got to kind of make sense, you know? Which you, that, that did. Yeah, I'm just uh, saying like... Cover your eyes th- from cum. Cover just, your eyes from cum. <laughs> sunglasses shack. Cum goggles. Cum go- cum glasses. I think there's just got to be rules where like we have to come up with the t- most the worst slogan within the realm of business. Like we wouldn't actually be able to produce a commercial that said cover your eyes from cum. From cum. Okay. Well, <laughs> since you said that, you want me to read their real real life? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can look it up slogan? Yeah. yeah. Sunglasses Shack, sitting on faces since 2001. Wow. Huh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to say it, though. that, though? I mean, sitting on faces? Hmm. hmm. Yeah. They, they knew what they were pass? doing. How did that pass? They knew what they were doing. absolutely knew what they were doing. Wow. So, I guess the rules are, is which do you think is funnier? I actually like that one. <laughs> Cause here's yeah, because it's 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 riding a fine line of being able yes. to actually do that. So Landon, um, I knowing think, what you're doing. I think for us, we can't use explicitives and we can't be yeah. outright. But like there, they were like suggestive, and they kind of towed yeah. the line, and it was fine. But Grandma hears that and goes, "Oh, that's nice." She loves it. You know, she yeah, she has no idea. It's um, great for all I, ages. I will say, most of these aren't like suggestive. Okay. But they are like, huh? What? <laughs> okay. What? Uh, so do you do you who who are you giving the point to on that one? We'll give it to Sunglass Hut. Yeah, I think they got okay. it. All right. Next, on the topic of of airlines, um, we've got Uzbekistan Airways. This one is not suggestive oh in any way. I'll give <laughs> okay. you. I'll Can... give you that direction. Join the Mile High Club and ooze all over this Beck. Again. Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Not suggestive. Uh, um, Okay, so Uzbekistan Airlines. Airways, but yeah. Airways. Not suggestive. Uh, Trained pilots to miss buildings. (laughs) Something like that. We don't hit buildings. We don't hit buildings. We Uzbekistan Airways. We don't hit buildings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I really like that. Um all right, so the real slogan. This was uh I'm pretty sure this was like in an airport. It's Uzbekistan Airways. Good luck. No it isn't. What? Swear to god. It's just <coughs> And is I mean, there a translation error? It is, there's got to be. There's got to be a translation. But it was in English. Be. But somewhere along the lines, it means different. <laughs> like, they meant Good well. Luck. But wow. <laughs> You know what? Our slogan of uh, we don't hit buildings is, I mean, it's pretty close. I like both. I'll, I'll, 
I'm <clears throat> fine with either way. Who do you think gets that point? I'd like to vote for us. I think we right. should. I think we we'll, should be selfish. We'll give it to you. As long as you guys are like close, if you're in the same realm of theirs, give your we guys the, the self- yeah, which, of which the it doubt. was, yeah, hundred percent for sure. All right, this next one. Um, this is Reebok. Uh, Reebok is just yeah, just Reebok to shoes. Shoes. It's it's not just shoes, but um, general Footwear. workout clothes. It's uh, oh, right. active wear. Active wear. Okay. Uh, perfect for protests or something <clears throat> like. But, but it, perfect for how uh, <laughs> go the go the yeah go. I'm route. I'm thinking of like the route of the uh, Antifa or something, you know, mm. burning buildings and like stay comfy while you burn down the government. Trying to take advantage of of struggling yeah people like Pepsi with the commercial they did with uh, a Kardashian girl. Yeah, I watched I watched that in doing research for this. <laughs> for this episode. That one was yeah, rough. That, that got a lot of flack. That was a Super Bowl commercial. <clears throat> yeah. Um Reebok. Only for white people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All just right. Went there. All right. Um here's the real ad. It's Reebok. Cheat on your girlfriend, not on your workout. You're kidding me. Wow. I swear to God. Why is that even like... Is this real? It's not even it's funny. Did they have an edgy phase like that in one the 90s? Was, that one was not a vintage one. Um, It's hard to tell exactly like how new it was, but it wasn't vintage. Um, but Cheat on your girlfriend, not your workout. Not workout. on your workout. Which is such Holy a childish. Fuck. That's like if I gave, if I was in high school and was like, "Hey, write a uh, write a tagline for us." That's what I would come up with. That's like an that's Ashley so Madison immature. Like ad. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it to you guys. I can't, I can't wrap that's... my head around that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that close to fit that one. <laughs> no, that no. That we are coming. Worse. Wait, listen, listen. I need to clarify. <clears throat> You're we're coming make, from we're... the protests angle. Yes, but also like we're coming from the perspective of terrible ad ideas. Yeah, like okay, we're not. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. podcast isn't in any way <laughs> no, suggesting. I, know. I right. hate that we have to say it, but yeah, know, disclaimer: what we say is not what we believe right now. In case, <laughs> in case anyone was confused. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, this one, I have never heard of this brand. This one is vintage, so get that in your head. Good. Okay. Um. It's, it's a vintage ad. Women in the kitchen. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. This is for a brand called Chubbets. And um Can you tell us what the product they have. I will read you uh like a one of their taglines but not like the header of of this ad. And mm. I got to say this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Hmm. Oh, and it makes okay. more sense knowing that it's vintage. And it makes more Chubbets. sense that we've never heard of this brand. Yes, they don't exist anymore, as far as I know. Good. Mm-hmm. Because but of this campaign. <laughs> probably. Chubbets. Fashion designed to make girls 6 to 16 look slimmer. Oh, boy. This and that's the tagline, and now we're coming up with the slogan. So now we're coming up with <clears> this <throat> specific ad. What is their... <laughs> their Mad Men tagline. Oh, this is gonna get creepy. What is their Don Draper original? Yeah, age is just a number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> something you're, you're, like in that realm. I can lower feel your it. weight and your age. <laughs> uh, Slim. I I think it's gonna be like a fat shaming angle. Um, I I get the feeling for this sure. is going ages for a pedophilia six to angle. sixteen, like six to sixteen. Make him like you. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll we'll just we'll just accept both of yours, um, and then so the real ad. It's already bad. Like how much worse could it get? Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty bad. So again, keep in mind age six to sixteen. She can have a tummy and still look yummy. Oh! 
<laughs> Dude, oh my god. Fire that fucking marketing agency that came up with that. I mean, I it's already the company itself is already a bad idea. So, man, vintage she can vintage have ads work me and still look yummy. Yep, for 6 to 16 year olds. Also that that part the fashion design to make girls 6 to 16 look slimmer was also on the ad so it's yeah. not like I looked up like what are they all about yeah. no like all of this was on the ad that's horrible that, that's really disgusting actually yeah what, what vintage yeah. are we talking yeah about? is this the like 50s 40s, 50s um it was so like 80s it was print and it was like a very yellowed newspaper okay. magazine 50s. article so it's pretty old i don't know it's, it doesn't matter it's still right. wow Ooh, yeah okay. can you guys like so <clears throat> it's crazy because now in the 21st century that's just completely unacceptable but can you imagine mm. living in a world where so many examples like that actually existed and were culturally normative mm. oh yeah it's crazy Ah. Uh. And they Weird. call themselves I mean, the greatest generation. Like, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Like, if you're in a nursing home listening know. to I'm Telling Mom podcast, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah, oh get them. So thank you for sponsoring this episode, old people. <sighs> um, Whoa. This one is, I don't know the name of it, but it's just some bowling alley place. And okay. uh, I will, I will tell you, this one is suggestive. So go nuts. <laughs> yeah, definitely something. Balls. Our uh, our balls are bigger. Oh, also, who are wait, you it's giving for uh, the bowling alley? Yeah, we're gi we're giving that point to to yeah, yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. not they, you guys, no, right? Yeah, for the last, last one. one. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> no, I mean, I like our balls are bigger. It just implies our, that you're gonna hit more pins or something. So, Landon, yeah. I like it. I like it. Let's see if we can expand it a little bit more. Uh, okay. Any any mention or bring in of like pins pins and balls um, i think you guys are gonna balls. this one this one is a uh, pretty it's pretty suggestive i think they're i think they're gonna get the point on this one it's very creative and okay. very suggestive Str all right Landon, uh, let me just shutter. let me just yeah we should just spitball uh words and yeah. play the word association spitball. marketing yeah. game strike turkey gutter That's about it, right? Right, right. <laughs> In bowling, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a complicated uh, sport. Balls are bigger than 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 the gutter. Slip, slip, like the slide, floors are slippery. Slide your slide, slide. your balls our way. <laughs> All right, I, you know I think that's kind of nice. Slide your balls our way. <laughs> also, I do, I do want to give you guys props. Like, you guys are coming up with these on the spot. Yeah. So the fact that it's tied two to two right now is <laughs> actually incredible. Like, good job for you guys. Yeah, but these are like, bad ads. Mm. Right. Lane, but, I, we I mean, I want that to be a real slogan for a bowling alley. <laughs> Somebody's got to find that. Oh, All right. God. You, you guys ready for this one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what the bowling alley's called, but some bowling place. It's amazing what you can do with. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do with two fingers and a thumb. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. pretty good. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty good, too. <clears throat> two fingers and but a thumb. But it's not. It's This uh. is the thing that I don't like, and the reason I would actually argue that we get a point on this, it's not, if you just read that, you don't get bowling from it, necessarily. So here's the thing. I actually, I saw this ad. And I had no idea what it was for. I, I read mm. the tagline. I was like, what does that mean? I had to go to the comments to yeah. find out that it was for a bowling alley. That's okay. what I'm saying. But if you, but if you read a, something that said, slide your balls our way, yeah. would that be a little more like, <laughs> that's a bowling I mean, alley. If, you, if we didn't even know in the context of like ads or something and you just heard that, I don't know that you would really think no, you're right. bowling alley. You're right. But you probably wouldn't. <laughs> Who's I getting the know. point? Uh, Mason, I'm going to let you I want you to decide on that one. Which one which one did you like better? I didn't like either of them. <laughs> but theirs is there I'm giving it to them. That's horrible. Okay. 
All right. That's fair. Okay. This one is, uh, this one's a more modern ad. It's one of those things, like, just like Pepsi with the, Ke- with the Kendall Jenner, Ke- Jenner, Jenner, Gender Kendall d- d- Dender. Yeah, you nailed that one, bud. Good Kendall job. Jenner. <laughs> is that her name? Something like Pepsi that. Pepsi ad. It's just a company doing their best and completely missing the mark. Mm-hmm. So this is Bic. Um, and I will tell you specifically on the ad, it is for hashtag happy women's day. So their slogan oh. typically is flick your Bic. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Flick your um, Bic. I'll, I'll also tell you this one isn't suggestive. I don't know what the slogan would have been, but Chris, I remember <laughs> seeing they came out with a pink pencil that was made like <laughs> you know, when, oh, yeah. they, when they have gendered products unnecessarily. Yeah. And it was it was a pencil made for women and it was just a pink pencil. Yeah. Bic you know? did that? Yeah, Bic did that. And that was recent. But um so that made me think of National Women's Day, but <laughs> um There's so from out, the look like of if this that's ad, a this recent was probably recent, like within the past five years or so. Yeah. I can't believe companies are still doing that, honestly. Right? Like You let's didn't just... run it by anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Show it to any millennial, and right. they so, will flip out if it's bad. The reason right. that this bothers me a little bit, one of the big initiatives that, that I am leading at my work is called See Her, which is like making sure in all of our advertising that we are accurately portraying women in a way that they want to be seen. And so it's so frustrating when all these companies are missing the mark by that <laughs> much. Yeah. Like yeah. nobody thought about this. Yeah. Like they're trying, but they're <clears throat> stuck in like 50 years ago Ugh. of like, this is what women are supposed to be. <laughs> so, so, okay. So Bic comes out with a slogan on national women's day. Lick what is your it? Bic is a real thing that they say <laughs> that I, Jesus. That's, that's like the main, that's what I've always heard. Flick your bick because you've like. <laughs> but is that from them or is that just. It's a good point. I really don't know. That, dude. I really don't know. To, I, I don't maybe, know. That's what, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm having like actual, yeah, like actual block. Like my brain won't even let me. Yeah, Mason, let's just, <laughs> let's just hear it. Let's just hear what they got. All right. So, Bic for hashtag Happy Women's Day wrote on a poster. It shows a, uh, I, I believe the image was just like a corporate woman. And it said, the text said, look like a girl, act like a lady, think like a man, oh, work no. like a boss. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, no. That was recent? Yikes. It was, it, from the picture, it looks like it was within the past, like, five to ten years. Like, yeah. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> just, they have no women working in that office, dude. To no, they can't. Like, you can't. Did Holy you not shit. show it to anyone? <laughs> anyone. Did one guy, did the head of marketing be like, don't worry, guys, I got this one. No need to check any of it. Uh, And you know what? We are three males having a conversation about this. So if there's any females that want to, you know, offer up their take, by all means, you can comment on YouTube or get on our Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know. Hopefully our take is the right take. (laughs) If anyone wants to try to defend it, go for it. I do want to know from our female viewers. Like, I'm sure that this pisses everybody off. All right. But like, to what extent? Like, are you like, it's annoying, but whatever. Or is this like unacceptable i just i don't know where are you guys at because to me to me it's it's unacceptable like specifically um it's it's just all like this this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to look like a girl you're supposed to be proper and act like a lady but men are where it's really at so like think like a man does and then if you can manage to somehow think like a man then maybe like work like a boss it's uh i i that's real bad i don't get offended really but that that's pretty offensive. You know what? To me. Honestly, like if that's kind of your mentality, just don't participate in National Women's Day. 
<laughs> like right. seriously, right. seriously, just be authentic to your we own have values. Great pens. That's right. That, that, just just do that. <laughs> right. I think of stop I trying th- to be culturally relevant. I think of uh, Bo Burnham in his recent special um, <laughs> where he's like bugles take on race. It's like exactly like some yeah. of you just need to stop. Like it's not yeah. why you're here. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. One of the things I do want to make sure that we say is like. Yes, from a millennial perspective, there's a lot that we can recognize and call out, keep people accountable, but it is really important to recognize that like age in this case is not the only factor. It's critical to still get mm. input from uh people of color, from di- all different genders. Like it's important to make sure yeah. that you're not well rounded. Yeah, that it's not even like because there could be the pr- temptation to be like, okay, I'm the only millennial here, so let me just I know what to do, but the reality is mm. you need to go into that meeting. And if you see that there's not representation, you need to bring in representation. That's yeah. just, that's just how yep. it is. Yeah. All right. So I've got one more that I included cause I, ju- I think this one is actually really clever and really funny and good for them. We'll end on a high note. <laughs> this is uh that's replens good. replens, which is a uh, vaginal moisturizer. And their tagline, <laughs> their tagline is Vadrina question mark. It's so it's good. stupid. It works. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. So I, I, <laughs> I fully support Vagina. that one. I don't care if Jesus. that one's not politically correct or whatever. That one's, that one's clever. Good for yeah. them. Yeah. So uh, that that's that's gonna wrap up our whole episode about Yay. sponsors and stuff. You guys Woo. did really good on that job. I'm really proud of you, uh, you. on that game. Good, did a good job on that game is we what I meant good. to say. Let's uh let's go grab the wheel. Let's let's grab that spinny circle thing with a lot of colors and words all over it. Yeah, it's a place of wonder and magic. And that's the end of yet another episode of I'm Telling Mom. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Discord, Twitch, and of course, all podcasting platforms everywhere. And you know what? Go pick up yourself a Neato t-shirt or towel mm, yeah. or something a at itmmerch.com. We appreciate you listening to our nonsense and look forward to catching up next week when we discuss... It's still... Circus Axe. Circus Axe. Circus Axe. I hate that word, Axe. Axe. What a, well, what maybe a, it's going to be A X E Axe. Circus Axe. I, I mean, okay. It's your, Landon, <laughs> we'll it's your episode. Out? You That's do right. what you want. All right. Well, Thank you so you much for listening. <laughs> Circus Axe. Bye. 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 Baby. <laughs>